That's quite a scratch you got there. Never thought I'd say this, but it's good to see you, Arthur Morgan. Ha <laughs> ha! Found you, Oh, will you look at all that snow and just listen to the howling wind. Welcome back to the full playthrough. Let's get going. So the first mission, Outlaws from the West, rolls into the next mission, Enter, Proceed by a Memory. You can't save at this point, and if you quit the game, you will have to start a new one. Arthur's going to talk to Abigail, and she's going to ask him to go get her boyfriend, and he really can't say no to Abigail because, well, it's complicated. I'm sorry, I'm sorry to ask, but... It's little John. He's got himself caught into a scrape again. He ain't been seen in two... Two days. Your John will be fine. I mean, he may be as dumb as rocks and as dull as rusted iron, but that ain't changing because he got caught in some snowstorm. Please go take a look. I love that line. It's so literate and evocative of the 19th century, and look how pretty Abigail is. Of course he's gonna help her. Javier? Yes. Javier, will you ride out with Arthur <clears throat> to take a look for John? <clears throat> You're the two best fit men we've got. I know Jose is talking about Arthur and not us, but it's still really nice to hear. Now? She's... we're all... Yeah, we're pretty worried about him. I know. The situation were reversed. And he looked for me. And Javier gives us the sawed-off. Ever since Mad Max, and I'm talking about the 1979 post-apocalypse movie and not the girl from Stranger Things, I have loved the idea of a pistol grip sawed off. Very short ranged, but lethal in this game. You can take off ahead. I'll show you. Maybe on the train job. For all we know, he kept riding north and never looked back. He wouldn't leave. Not like that. And we're off into the snow again. I really believe that John left because he didn't think Jack was his son. And I also believe that John thinks Arthur might be the father. This snowy landscape also reminds me of the Hateful Eight. Come on, let's take a look. Let's hope it ain't more of O'Driscoll's boys. Well, it seems somebody left recently. And that way. Sure, well, come on then. Start mashing L3 or whatever it is on Xbox as soon as the game gives you control. We need to level up this horse ASAP. You think it's John? You tell me. These are horse tracks for sure, but it could be anyone. Let's just see where they lead. So, you were there, Javier. What really happened on that boat? We had the money, it seemed fine. Then suddenly they were everywhere. Bounty hunters? No, Pinkertons. It was crazy. Raining bullets. See, Javier gives Arthur a straight answer, but he doesn't really know what happened except that it all went wrong. Dutch killed a girl in a bad way, but it was a bad situation. That ain't like him, though. Yeah, good boy. Tracks go left, down here. Davey got shot. Mac and John, both shot too. Sean, we don't even know. I'm surprised we escaped at all. By the time you boys showed up from the other side of town, we were only just holding on. Bad business, all right. Snow's coming in hard again. We'll lose these tracks if we don't move fast. It's so much fun riding in the snow and having someone to talk to. It gets lonely free roaming all by yourself in the Grizzlies, looking for a random moose or waiting for the next wolf encounter. Careful. 
Zephyrus getting narrow here. Good job. Come on, boy. Horses are getting tired. Yeah, a lot of fresh snow here. I don't know about this, Javier. I mean, we can't follow nothing. Uh, let's push on a little bit. Maybe we'll pick up the trail again. It's all right, boy. Almost there. Boy. Come on now. Hey, look! Over there! You see that? It's hard for me to see a horse like that, even though I have no problem turning an NPC's head into a red mist with our new sawed-off shoddy. Come on! Up there! You might as well swap out now. If you don't, Javier will just remind you and you'll feel stupid. He's coming from up ahead somewhere. I don't think we can go much further on the horses. We'll have to walk from here. Down this way. This. Over here! Ah! It's coming from this way. Okay. It's slippery, be careful. This game is so much fun, you just know something is gonna happen. I mean it's quiet now, but of course it's all gonna go to hell. My first playthrough I died right here because I tried to look over the edge. Kinda like this. Fortunately, you respawn at the last checkpoint, so let's just pretend that didn't happen again and move on. Careful, there's a drop here. It's slippery, be careful. Stay low under here. This is one of my favorite parts. It's the first time we get to crouch, and then we learn how to climb and do some Lara Croft moves. Watch your stamp. This is real slippery. And now we have a stamina core, and the game wants you to eat, but do not eat. Trust me, Come we'll on. eat in a second. Be patient. Come on. Over here. That sounds closer now. Come on. We're coming, John! Damn, it's cold! How you doing? I'm miserable. Then it's a few days? I know. Here. Take a drink of that. Thanks. I'm not designed for this snow. So if you don't eat, you'll trigger a new scene and some extra dialogue and Javier will give you some bourbon. Let's keep moving and then. now you have a full bottle in your inventory along with a partially restored stamina core. I think it's worth about $1.85 at the general store if you want to resell it, and trust me, you'll need the cash. Battle of the ledge! That's John! We're coming! Hey. Down here! All right! Hot down, Marston! I love how Arthur tells John to shut up. Like it's not a big deal, and it's an imposition for him. 
he really treats him like a little brother. That's quite a scratch you got there. Note that you never see John without that scar. He has that scar in Red Dead Redemption and in RDR 2 you find out how he got it, but we never see him without it. I just find that interesting. Never thought I'd say this, but it's good to see you, Arthur Morgan. You can see the affection and relief just in Arthur's body language. That's from the mocap performance, but it's a wonderful touch. You don't look so good. I don't feel too good, neither. <clears throat> And I never talk about how strong Arthur is. I don't know how much a deer weighs, but John is at least 150 pounds, or what is that, 70 kilos for all you Canadians and Europeans in the house? And remember in the first mission how he just lifts Sadie up and plops her onto Dutch's horse? He has to raise her above his shoulders. He's crazy strong. Ain't you a sorry sight? Can't argue with you there. See? I told Dutch you weren't the right man for this. I'm sure you did. Oh, you all right? I don't think so. Come on. Hopefully this will lead us out. Now we get to try out the new shotgun, but take a moment and look how that wolf's fur moves in the wind. I love that. You see that on the ridge? I also need to mention how evocative the music is, particularly here at this moment, of an Ennio Morricone soundtrack. You may not recognize the name, but I'm sure you know the theme from The Good, The Bad, and The Ugly. I highly recommend you look up The Ecstasy of Gold, maybe after you watch this. It's one of my favorites. But I digress. We need to take care of some business. I'll distract him while you get to the horse. Go! Draw them off! Okay, let's go to work. These are the easiest wolves you'll encounter in the game. The trick is to go to them, don't let them come to you. If you stay with Javier, they'll kill John and you'll have to start over. Create some distance. Bang bang, it's no big deal for Arthur. I always like to walk them back to the horses. It just seems polite. And look at the blood trail John's leaving. Remember to calm the horse because he's freaked out about the wolves. Is that a Red Dead Redemption reference? I don't know, but nothing in this game is random. He's referencing something. More coming down the hill. Get out of here. Now, it is critical that you kill this furry bastard first. If you don't get him, he'll lead the pack to John and you'll have to start over again. You can also trample the wolves, but the horse won't like it. 
should ride in the water for a bit. Try to lose a scent. Don't want to leave a trail right back to camp. You know, we're gonna need to come up with a better story for that scar. So, freezing, bleeding, starving? Damn near getting eaten to death ain't good enough for you. Here, let's cross to the left. Yeah, come on. Let's push hard and get back. See those buildings up ahead, John? That's where we camped. Nearly there. Come on! Someone help John down off this horse. Can we get some help here? Can we get some help? And there's Abigail. Her first response is relief and happiness, and then she remembers how angry she is with him. John can't catch a break. It's his leg. Oh, come on, let's get you warm. Thank you, thank you both. This is a new low, even by your standards. Thank you, I think. Thank you. You got any other lost maidens need saving? <laughs> Not today. I like that lost maidens line. I think a cowboy is a knight of the Old West, or a samurai, and that's what knights and samurais do, rescue lost maidens. And Hosea just chuckles. Also note, this is the first time you see Herr Strauss, and Hosea is acting like they're maybe even friends. I just assumed they hung out because they were closer in age. Have you and Dutch talked about how we're gonna get out of this? I was just discussing with Herr Strauss when the weather breaks, I suppose we'll have to keep heading east. East? Into all that? That's civilization. I know. I like how Arthur stretches out that word. All he wants is open space and big skies and to live free. The West is where our problems are worse. Come on, Herr Strauss, let's get warm. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. <laughs> the next scene is significant because we see Arthur writing in his journal. It shows an intellectual depth that he really doesn't share with the camp. We found shelter and been resting here in some old abandoned mining town while we wait the thaw. Hardly the spring I had been hoping for. And there's your gold. I can't promise a gold every time, but I'll certainly do my best. Though to be fair, it's really easy to get a gold in chapter one. There are some supplies in this room, but we'll cover that in the next video. Okay, this was fun. I'm so glad you're here with me. We are well into chapter one, but we have a ways to go and a lot of fun adventures ahead. I'll see you soon. We wait. It's slippery, be careful. I am Super Antonio. Thanks for watching. I appreciate your views. Like, comment, share, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell for daily Red Dead Redemption 2 content, and we shall meet again further on down the trail. To move a bit faster. How come every time I get in trouble, I'm called a fool and an idiot? But when you get in trouble, oh, it's just one of them things. <laughs>